All right, folks, welcome back to the shop. I found myself still fiddling with this milling machine. Uh, I made a, a handle or the neural button for that uh, up and down feed. Somebody pointed out uh, that it was actually made incorrectly. When you grab it, it would try to unscrew itself. So I figured I'd look and see if I could figure out how to do it right. So I made two versions of it, just one a little bit longer than the other. But uh, just knurled and then uh, made the screw to go inside of it. Works pretty good. Uh, I'll show you how I made that. So here we go. All right, I'm turning down this piece of half inch stock, getting it ready to uh, knurl for the milling machine power feed button. <laughs> piece. Uh, last time I knurled something the other day I ended up running the acid brush through there so won't be using a brush at all this time so here we go. Try not to make that mistake twice especially on film. Alright 300 RPM got the feed running at about uh, 72 thousandths per rev. <laughs> finish for what I need. Alright, next part is to drill a hole through it. Here we go. Alright, now I'm going to drill a 5 16 hole in it. And, uh, we'll get started there. 460 RPM. <laughs> steel. Hard stuff and it'll be heat treated by the time I'm through with this damn thing. Alright, let's see what's next. Alright, let's see if we can clean this up with a bit of sandpaper here. <laughs>
better. Really got it hot there drilling. Should have stepped it up, but it's just a knob. All right, let's run a ream through there. Slow it down to 300. this part off. Part and a part off. Sounds right. feed control. I'll just drew a little sketch. Uh, I'm going to have 400,000 for the threads and uh, 1.250 for the body and then about 150 thousandths for the head. I'll go ahead and lay that out here now. My feed going the right way here. finish.
322. Let's see this actually how this fits under undersize already. I tell you what, that'll still work. I can live with that. It's hoping for a little bit tighter, but uh, that'll work. All right, now I need to mark about 400 thousandths worth of threads there. And it's since it's metric, I need to get it down to four millimeter. So I'm going to measure over here and then mark it. Go about uh, 400 thousandths worth of threads. That's 400 thousandths there. All right, that's 6.06. All right, I've got the DRO set for millimeters. Cut this down to four, and then we'll thread it. <laughs> It's got it tapped M4 by 0.07. All right, we're just going to part it off here. Let's see, we're going to three RPMs. idea how big that is. It's a 1 16th inch bit carbide. We run it at 30, uh, 3,000 RPMs. And we'll see how it cuts. I want to go 60 thousandths deep to make a screwdriver slot here. So, all right, that is zeroed off there. Let's spin her up.
So now with the uh, with this button in place, when the machine is running, we got the down feed on. The whole thing spins. The other one we just couldn't unscrew it. So here you can just grab it, put it in neutral, or change directions. Up neutral, and down. There's a storm coming. His name is Zeke. <laughs> 